another week, another crypto trader segment about another high performance blockchain and another consensus protocol. Do we need all these consensus protocols? Queen Yin Tsao, you say you are starting a new consensus protocol and a new blockchain. Tell me about your blockchain. So I want to build the uh, number one public blockchain in the world, in the mirror identity area. So we want to resolve the bottlenecks in blockchain. We want to be legally compliant with the regulators, we want to be fast, have large scale and low consumption for energy. So with our blockchain, we can really solve pain points in the society. That's our goal. And how do you solve this? What makes your blockchain different from any other blockchain? First, we map each person to the blockchain use a mirror identity protocol. So using this technology, each person can only have one account on blockchain. There's a one-to-one -one correspondence. This allows us to use a new algorithm called randomized proof of work. Using randomized proof of work, each account will receive a random number. And this random number will be compared to a public random number to determine the likelihood of them to mine the next block. So this way, it will be only 10 to 20 people will be doing the mining. So it will be very fast and energy efficient. And the user identity we can also scale up to about 1 billion users. So it's also scalable. So using this new technology with identity, we have resolved all these bottlenecks in the blockchain. So are you saying that it's like a lottery system? That's right. Where everybody holds a lottery ticket, yeah. and you draw a set of numbers, a public number, yes. and if I'm holding the lottery ticket, yes. then I'm going to be the one to confirm that block. Next block, yes. Yeah. So uh, if you compare our strategy with like uh, uh, EOS, where everybody you elect like 21 people, and they like uh, uh, mine the next block for you among the 21 of them, uh, it's very fast, but there's lots of problems with that because hackers can attack them and they can get corrupt. In our system, the vote is by the guard. It's a random number. Nobody knows who will be the next guy who is going to mind the block. So it's very safe. It's as efficient as the EOS, but it's less sensitive to hackers' attack. Now, and what about an attack? I mean, a system like this can't really be attacked. Yeah, because uh, uh, if it's like in the... Uh, uh, your system that like you assign 21 people to do the mining. But in our case, it's a random number. You don't know who will be the next guy, right? So it's very difficult to attack. The only way to attack our system is we have to have 51% of all the accounts in the whole world. Then you control all of them. Then you can do the attack. It's much more expensive. It's economically not feasible. So our structure is uh, res uh, resistant to the 51% the computational power attack. So you're completely mm. resistant to attack. What do I need to mine on, on your blockchain? Do I need so, an ASIC miner? Do I need a GPU no, miner? No, you actually, uh, all you need is laptop. a laptop. A high school student can do the mining. So it's very decentralized, just like the old days in 2009, when Satoshi first started his project. Anybody can mine, they can get like almost 10,000 Bitcoins in a day. They want to go back to that area. So it's not centralized. Not a, one, one person can have like 41% of the mining power, you know, in Bitcoin, uh, Mr. Wu, he makes like uh, $2 billion last year. He has 40% uh, of the mining power. In our case, it's impossible. Everybody have a very tiny bit, but they all contribute to the community. And with this, we can really help the blockchain to find the killer applications. Okay, now what's your background? I mean, how did you come up with this? Uh, I'm, my background, I was a professor at UC Berkeley in finance. My background is in finance. I uh, got into uh, Bitcoin in 2011, when the students asked me questions like, uh, do you think Bitcoin is a bubble at $1? So I didn't know, I had to find the answer. So I read papers by uh, Dai Wei, by uh, Satoshi Nakamoto, by Nick Zavo, and started to uh, give lectures and uh, do research in this area. And in 2016, I feel the blockchain is going to the wrong way. It's uh, uh, become used by drug dealers, uh, for uh, the uh, criminals, and uh, for uh, tax evasion and money laundering. I want to find real applications, like we want to compete with Wall Street. Uh, all the transactions that can be completed on Wall Street should be done on the blockchain. So this way, everybody can benefit from the technology. What do you call the blockchain? <clears throat> it's called use chain. Use chain. And what do you call the consensus algorithm? It's called randomized proof of work. So it's a RPOW. Yes. Yeah. 
So it's called use chain. Yeah. And the consensus algorithm is called randomized proof of work. That's right. And it's called this because anyone on a random basis can be called to confirm the transaction. Exactly. Yeah. That's the key idea. It's a, it's a based on sortition. It's a randomization. All of us are equal. But if we are picked, then we're going to do the mining. So nobody can attack us because nobody can predict who will be next guy. It's very safe, very secure. Now, are you raising money? Yes. How much money are you raising? I was raising about uh, three, uh, thirty million dollars, about forty-five hundred uh, bitcoins. Forty-five hundred bitcoins. How much have you already raised? We raised about uh, two thousand already bitcoins. Yeah. So you're about halfway through. That's right. That's right. And if our viewers want more information about Use Chain, where can they go get more information? Uh, so UseChain.net is uh, uh, our um, website, and uh, our testnet will be online in the end of this month. And uh, in about uh, September, uh, you should have the mainnet online in three months. Yeah. So it's a blockchain that works like a lottery. Basically, every individual, by virtue of their identity, holds a ticket, and they may ask to validate the next set of transactions and to clear the next block. If it sounds interesting to you, go check out UseChain. I'll see you soon.